So the first thing I did for this render was go to dimensions.com because I knew I wanted to sculpt something and I just started searching for some lizards. So I just uh, downloaded the image and imported it to Blender as a reference. So I could grab a cube, subdivide it and just extrude it to kind of use the cube as, as clay and place the general shapes where I needed them. I then started sculpting, which is something I did for the very first time in this, in this render. And I'm really happy with the results. After the sculpting was finished, I started to texture the model. And it was, uh, I've, I've done some texturing uh, before in Blender. I forgot to save the image, so it got lost and I had to do it procedurally. Which is, um, it came out uh, basically the same, so not really much of a difference. But it was um, really stupid of me not to save. And then came the, the part I love the most, which is the building of the world. And basically just um, making my ideas come to life. So I um, imported one of my 3D scans of a rock, which you can watch the video linked here. And I uh, used the polygonic um, add-on to import the ferns, which is a, an amazing add-on. I really recommend um, taking a look at it. Of course, some uh, focal length and depth of field on the camera. I really like that. The skies are from uh, physical starlet and atmosphere, which is also a really great add-on of it linked. And then came the best part, which was adding the battery. It didn't really um, take that long to make, but it uh, really added a lot. I really wanted something on the back of the lizard. And the battery seemed like the best fit for me. And that's basically everything. But yeah, that's the, the breakdown of this render. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.